How's it going everyone, Darren here and welcome to CodeGaff. This week's devlog video will be starting off a little different from previous weeks because I have a favour to ask you. If you watched last week's devlog then you'll know that I recently migrated my project over to the new experimental Unity input system. Well everything's been going great with it and I've been very pleased by how stable it is, especially seeing as it's in such an early stage of development. That was of course until I created a WebGL build, because absolutely no mouse or keyboard input is detected at all. I spent so much time trying to figure out if it was something that I had messed up, but I eventually, after looking through their source code over on GitHub, discovered that it was indeed a bug. So I filed a bug report on their GitHub project, and after a few days, a Unity member confirmed it, and they filed it on their own issue tracker site. So what I want you to do is, if you have a Unity account, then go to the link in the description to see the issue that was filed, and then vote on it. The reason for this is that Unity, well, not just Unity, pretty much everyone creating open source projects, often tend to prioritize issues that get more attention from people, which makes sense. So if loads of you go and vote on that issue, then there's a decent chance that they'll look at it sooner rather than later. I just don't have the time to look at it myself, unfortunately. Okay, so now that you've gone and voted on that issue, let's talk about what I managed to get done on my game this week. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything done on Monday, at least not with regards to my game. I spent the whole night working on my website and trying to make it as functional and appealing to look at as possible. I'm reasonably happy with how it looks and behaves now, but what do you guys think? I actually spoke about this in my channel update video from a few days ago, so if you're looking for some more information on that, then check it out, there's a link in the description. But yeah, this was not a victorious day at all for Little Skelly, I'm afraid. He was not gonna see his graphics be redrawn yet. On Tuesday, since it's notoriously known for being the day of choice, I chose to get to work on splitting numerous body parts of the hedgehog up into separate layers. I chose to get this done now so that I have the freedom of choice later on when it comes to creating more complex animations. For example, I could choose to make him blink, frown his eyebrows, or open his jaw. Yep, that's right, before this there was literally no way at all for the hedgehog to ever open his jaw. He never had a choice. And that's not exactly ideal when you're a ferocious demonic hedgehog dog crossbreed, is it? So yeah, given that it's lower jaw, and upper jaw were now decoupled from one another, I needed to draw some additional graphics for the lower jaw for when it's open, such as teeth, a red gummy inner mouth and a tongue. This all took a bit longer than I'd hoped for and since it was Tuesday, I just chose to make myself a coffee and chill for the rest of the night. On Wednesday, I took the newly divided hedgehog into Unity and dealt with a few issues that came up as a result of the changes I'd made. I stupidly forgot to record what I was doing, but luckily it wasn't particularly eventful anyways. The sorting layers had gotten messed up due to the addition of new layers and also renaming others. Not a big deal. The other issue, which took a bit longer to sort out though, was the idle animation. It had gotten screwed up for the same reason. The names and hierarchy of body parts had changed. This actually really sucks because it means if I ever want to make big all alterations to my graphics assets like this again, then I'd better make sure that I don't create many animations, or at least just create quick temporary ones. Luckily this was exactly the case for the head dog, so it was all okay. After I fixed those issues, I decided to make use of the hedge dog's new body parts. More specifically, I added sprite masks to its eyes, and then I used those sprite masks to cause the eyelids to render whenever they overlap, and of course not render whenever they don't. This was really cool as I could just hide its eyelids somewhere below its eyes, and simply move them over the eyes whenever I want to show them, such as when blinking. So that was exactly what I did next. I altered the hurt animation so that at the moment of impact, the hedgehog will blink and frown its eyebrows. Body language is so important and with this change, it looked like the hedgehog was really feeling those wax. Poor little chap. I've decided to merge Thursday and Friday into one day because what I worked on literally spanned two full days. It was something that I thought I could do in maybe two to three hours, but I underestimated the hell out of it. Of course, I'm talking about redrawing my Skelly character. I initially planned to just do a straight up one-to-one -one redraw, but at a larger resolution so that it matched the hedge dogs. But of course, seeing as how my drawing skills have improved a lot after practicing and getting a drawing tablet, I just couldn't resist trying to make him look better. So not only did I work on redrawing him at a larger scale, 
and cleaning up his lines and rough edges, but I also chose to make a few major changes. The first thing I wanted to change was his body. It just looked very quickly put together even though it originally took me ages to draw it. <laughs> so I cleaned it up, added some details to make it look tattered and ragged, changed the colour and here's how it looks now. I'm not 100% sold on this colour yet, in fact there's a really good chance that I'm going to change it again soon, but luckily it's easy to do so and it won't break any animations or object names, so it's grand for now. I also hated the crappy legs that I gave the original Skelly, they were literally a result of me not being able to draw goddamn legs. So I decided to have another go at it, but instead of showing you the whole process and talking on and on and on about how I did this and that, I'm just going to show you the final Skelly. So here he is. At first there probably doesn't look to be too big of a difference between this and the original, but take a look at how they compare when they're put side by side. The difference is actually colossal man, oh my god. I'm so happy with how he looks now and I bet that he's going to stand out so much next to the hedgehog as well. And sadly, that is going to close off this week's devlog. I didn't get to do nearly as much as I wanted unfortunately, but you know what, I'm happy that I managed to get the artwork out of the way now, so that next week I can add some more complex and cool looking animations. My focus for next week will be further enhancing the combat system. I want to introduce a concept of health and the ability to die when it reaches zero. I'll probably play around with an overhead health bar for the enemy too, to show how full or low his health is when I'm bashing him. So with that said, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you next week. Oh and if you're watching this and you're not already a subscriber to my channel then you should definitely subscribe now and hit that little belly button so that you can stay notified of my latest uploads. Cheers!